If you need an EA to pass any prop firm challenge then we have them, and they work. See the link in the description below this video, now let's get started. In the strategy that I'm going to give you today, all three top traders on my prop firm challenge team tell me that in their opinion the indicator that I'm going to be introducing to you is the most accurate on TradingView. I know some of my subscribers may already be aware of this indicator, but the settings that I'm going to show you today have only ever been given to my members of staff who are employed to pass prop firm challenges. So the strategy that I'm giving you today really is a first, certainly on this channel. I'm hoping that you're going to rate today's video amongst the best that I've released this year. And if after watching you agree with me please, consider subscribing and like the video. Thanks. Okay let's dive in. Now the leading indicator in this strategy is called the EMA trend meter. This is yet another strategy that can be traded on anything from cryptos to futures and options and forex, and on any time frame. So today I'm randomly picking the 15 minute time frame on the New Zealand dollar Japanese yen. So let's head across to trading view and add in the indicator. In the search box type in EMA trend meter and select this one which was developed by Colin MCK. Now this indicator is a very advanced indicator because it's got many different things going on at the same time. It uses a number of different exponential moving averages as well as the stochastic version of the relative strength index. It creates a unique algorithm which enables it to make advanced and very accurate decisions on market movements. Let me give you a deeper insight as to how this indicator makes its trading decisions. The core component of the indicator is a series of exponential moving averages which track the short medium and long term trends of the asset that the indicator is attached to. You can see that the standard defaults of the fast medium and slow moving averages are 7, 14 and 21. And these can be altered depending on the asset that you are using it to trade on and how sensitive you want it to be. I want you to edit the settings of the top 4 inputs that you can see, change the baseline to 13, change the fast EMA to 21, the medium EMA to 34 and the slow EMA to 55, and that's all I want you to change in the settings. Now head across to the style tab and turn off the top shapes option because we don't need to see it. So this is how the indicator works. You can see that we've got a baseline exponential moving average and what the indicator does is it uses the baseline as a comparison to the fast medium and slow moving averages. To keep it very simple for you, whenever the fast EMA is above the baseline EMA then the top row that you see on the screen is going to be green. But when the value of the baseline EMA goes underneath the fast EMA level then the top line will change color from green to red. Similarly when the level of the medium EMA is higher than the level of the baseline EMA then the second row of colors will be green. But if the value of the medium length EMA drops underneath the value of the baseline EMA then the second row will turn red. And I'm expecting that you know what I'm going to say next, which is that when the value of the slow EMA is above the value of the baseline EMA then the third row will be colored green. And should the slow moving average value drop underneath the value of the baseline EMA then the third line will turn red. Now that you understand how the trend meter works it should be quite simple for you to understand how this indicator determines the trend. What we have now in reality is many indicators in one, and to agree on a trend then all we need is for the three lines to be the same color. For us to agree that the current trend is bullish then we would need nothing other than to see the three lines all colored green at the same time. For a bearish trend to be confirmed then all we need is for the three lines of the trend meter to turn red at the same time. Now we're going to bring in a second indicator into the strategy now. So head over to TradingView search box and search for the Stochastic Momentum Index and bring in the indicator which was created by the developer that I am highlighting here that has 4527 downloads at the time of this video. We just have a couple of small edits to the settings on this indicator to do. So go to the Style tab and make sure that the Stochastic is colored white and just make it slightly thicker than the default and click OK. Now what I want to do is explain to you the importance of the Stochastic Momentum Index indicator and how it fits in harmony with this strategy. Well the indicator itself is a perfect match for the trend meter and you'll see when we start to trade how powerful it is in confirming extremely accurate trade entries. The strategy uses the stochastic momentum index in conjunction with the trend meter to give a confluence with the trend. And this indicator is very good at confirming the trend using the stochastic analysis method rather than the moving average method. This means that it works in tandem and it's a great confluence for the trend meter. The white line that you see is called the stochastic oscillator and it's going to give us confirmation when the market is entering a bearish or bullish period. When it crosses the blue line going downwards it's suggesting a slowdown in the current bullish trend of the market. And when the white line crosses above the upper blue line it's telling you that there is a possible slowdown in the current bearish trend of the market. So conversely the crosses of the upper and lower blue lines are actually telling you that you are seeing an increase in the momentum of one of the trends. Let me explain the entry conditions so that everything will become extremely clear to you. 
We'll start with a long trade. Firstly, we need to establish that the trend is bullish and all we need for that is to see three green lights on the trend meter indicator. Now the perfect time to enter a trade in a trend is when you see a pullback in that trend and the way that we're going to do that for a long trade is to watch out for the stochastic momentum index to break the lower line. Once we see the appearance of the cross under then our entry confirmation comes when we see the white line crossing back up over the blue line cutting through the red line. The cross back up over the blue line on the red line tells us that the pullback in this bullish move is probably at an end, so we are ready to take our long position. We have a very good 1 to 2 risk reward ratio with this strategy so we're going to place the stop just underneath the most recent swing low. And I'm going to target a profit of 1 to 2 risk reward, you can see that the trade hits take profit very easily. Let me show you another perfect long trade. You can see that we're in a confirmed bullish trend because all of the 3 trend meter indicators are colored green. Also note how the stochastic momentum index has dropped underneath the blue line suggesting a short pullback and then it crosses back up through the red line confirming that the pullback may be at an end. So we are ready to place our long trade. We open a long trade at the open of the next candle, placing the stop just beneath the most recent swing low targeting a 1 to 2 risk reward. And again we go straight to take profit. Understanding how we enter short trades is very simple because in reality we are just reversing what we are doing to enter a long position. Firstly we wait for the three trend meter EMAs to all be colored red confirming the downtrend. We then wait for the stochastic momentum index to cross above the upper blue line, before coming back down and crossing the red line suggesting that the current pullback in this downtrend could well be over, and we therefore enter our short trade on the open of the next candle placing our stop loss above the most recent swing high, going for a 1-2 to two risk reward. With very strict entry rules such as this and with such a high risk to reward ratio on each trade you can be very confident that I'm giving you a system that will consistently do well on your account. Yet again the indicators are free so there's no charge for this strategy whatsoever. Ok that's the strategy for today and I hope you found the education beneficial. If you did all I simply ask is you consider subscribing to the channel so that you get instant notification of tomorrow's strategy straight to your inbox. And if you could like and share the video and ring the bell that would greatly help the YouTube algorithm in getting the word out to more traders here on YouTube. Until tomorrow guys many thanks, and safe trading.